Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing about SAP ABAP report program. So, a report is a presentation of data in an organized structure, and many database management systems include a report writer that enables you to design and generate reports. So, SAP applications support report creation. A classical report is created by using the output data in the write statement inside a loop. They do not contain any sub-reports. SAP also provides some standard reports such as RS, CL, TCOP that is used to copy tables across clients and RSP, ARAM that is used to display instance parameters. These reports consist of only one screen as an output and we can use various events such as initialization and the top of page to create a classical report. And each event has its own importance during the creation of a classical report. And each of these events is associated to a specific user action and is triggered only when the user performs that action. So, describing the events and the descriptions. First event, initialization, triggered before displaying the selection screen to at selection screen, triggered after processing of the user input on the selection screen and this event verifies the user input prior to the execution of a program. And after processing the user input, the selection screen remains in the active mode. Start of selection. Triggered only after processing of the selection screen is over. That is when the user clicks the execute icon on the selection screen. End of selection. Triggered after the last statement in the start of selection event is executed. Top of page triggered by the first write statement to display the data on a new page. End of page triggered to display the text at the end of a page in a report. And note that this event is the last event while creating a report and should be combined with the line count clause of the report statement. So this was a brief discussion on SAP ABAB reports. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.